crazy. Crazy. Man. Uh, yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. The amount of seagulls, shorebirds, the white ones, that are migrating over my place right now is crazy. Migration is on, as y'all know it. This video, not about waterfowl hunting. Yeah, I know, it's first in a long time, I know. I have been wanting to get into whitetail hunting more and more and more. I have a lot better property this year, given all of the leases that I have that I can sift through, and uh, I think it's going really well. Bought my dream bow yesterday at Cabela's. Uh, bought some uh, cell cameras, four of them that we gotta get put up. I gotta shoot the bow a bunch on this video, show it to y'all, number one. I should say number one is check the two cameras that I have out already. Now, this is behind my house. We're back here by the pond. And uh, I have put a total of two bags out here. Uh, so right out about 100 pounds, 90 pounds. And uh, man, they have really rutted this all up. It is tore up. There's been a lot of deer. This is the only place that I don't have a camera out right now because I've been waiting on my cell cameras that I bought. But before we get going on this video, got a few things I want to show you. I have been talking this bad boy up for quite a while. It is the new Ducks Game Tote. It's got two hangers on it. Can fit uh, a bunch of ducks, to be honest with you. Got a, a shoulder strap, comfortable carry with a carabiner on the top. Our new and improved call lanyard. Check it out. It's got a really comfortable strap on top. Neoprene strap, that is. You know it's still got the old ducks band on it. Same amount of drops. Real comfortable, y'all. These have not got to show you guys. Waiter ankle wraps. Yes. Velcro. Yes. And y'all have been asking about it. New and improved gun strap. Check that bad boy out. Again, big shoulder area for comfort. Few spots for choke or shell holders. Very nice, completely adjustable. And this one, I am very excited to get my hands on. Check this bad boy out, the decoy bag, dude. Three buckles on top, opens way up. Uh, it's got integrated metal lining, so it's extremely stiff. Buckles up tight on the back. Complete backpack system, guys. Center, strap, waist, so you can really put a lot of decoys in this bad boy. Can't wait to try it. Extremely excited about this one. Beautiful. All these products plus a bunch more like this hat are all available at duckswaterfowl.com. Be sure if you buy anything at Ducks Waterfowl, you use code BOB. Use code BOB, it'll save you some money and it helps me out. Thank y'all. I will link all these new products down at the top of the description down below of this video. Just like every video, all the products are always down there. Thank you guys for always using code BOB. Again, it helps me out so much. <laughs> Look at these two dogs. You guys are two goofs, I'll tell you what. Uh -huh. All right, obviously it's the next day, uh, morning. Sitting at about 10.30 in the AM. Uh, I'm gonna walk in on my two cameras that I've had up. Extremely excited to check them both. We could have nothing or we could have something, you know what I mean? We could have a lot of something. Who knows, but we're going into the first hole here. I do not have tree stands up yet. Uh, we will have probably one to two tree stands up in this area. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Wow, I put a whole bag out here. It would be, that would have been Wednesday. So five days ago, and it is gone and extremely rutted up. Look at this. There is nothing left. Just a little kernel here and there. This would, did not look like this. All messed up like this. Wow. But here's our camera. I'll be excited to see what's on this puppy. Oh no, look at that. Why is that lever undone? Is it off? Looks like it's off. What in the world? Hmm, that makes me go... 
Hopefully no one was back here messing with my crap. I don't know why that lever was undone on the side of that camera. If it did get messed with, they didn't take the SD card. And if it did get messed with, they might have removed the SD card, cleared it, and then put it back in. I really hope not. I really hope not. I think it might have just been flapped open because a deer might have rubbed it and flipped that little lever open. We'll see. Also, it wasn't very active when I walked up. It looked like it was like in sleep mode or something. Old school. Here's the new school. Old school. Now, I'm trying to set up this cell camera and they still require SD cards. Why is that? Why, if it's a cell camera, should it have to require an SD card? I don't know, but we're going old school with the computer right now. See if we got anything on here. I've been waiting. We've been out of town uh, with the kids at Great Wolf Lodge. I've been waiting to get back and check these two cameras. All right. Let's see. Please be something on here. Oh, we got can. We have action. Lots of grass blowing. Awesome. All right, all right, all right. The day I put it out, it was really, really windy. And it was in the trees really good. I didn't think the grass that it kept picking up blowing, I didn't think it would. But here's deer number one, photo 1363, Bob. Uh, looks like a doe, possibly. Big body doe. Sniffing the camera for sure. Yeah, it's a small little doe. Not a bad doe. Uh, doe and a fawn. We got fawn. Maybe two fawns and a doe. Raccoons, to be expected. Good day pictures of a doe. That's at 9.55 a.m. Wow, okay. That's cool. Couple more raccoons and the doe. All right, looks like we're gonna have coons and does out here. Oh, diggity dog! All right, second camera. I'm on photo 603. The day I set these cameras, it was windy, so that first oh, 24 hours was everything blowing. So I start at the back end of the SD card and work backwards, right? Here we go. I, I, I was thinking, so I put this camera, this one right here, this old Browning I've had forever, trusty old girl. I put it on a rub, on a, uh, on a, on a small tree that is a rub tree, bucks rub on it. You could tell it was a fresh rub. I thought it might be a bad idea in case the buck did come and rub on it and smash it down and that's what happened. I didn't take the camera with me, but when I got there, this camera was pushed down like that, like way down. So I knew I had to take some force to do it. Here we go. This is our culprit. Oh, oh I'm getting to look now. He's a, he's a funky guy. Okay. Well, there we go. First buck. First horns, okay? Not a big one. His right side... All right, guys, I didn't get to look at it very well in the truck, but I sorted through everything, and we actually have a decent buck on this camera. It was uh, the night before. This would have been October 1st, two days ago. I'm just going to scan here and go through the pictures real quick. Hmm. Figured I needed to put this in there. Uh, the one. Wow. Wow. Not the funky guy. Not the not the lopsided guy. His his left side's a lot smaller than the right. The other one, uh, he looks really good. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I, I was expecting there to be some good deer, but maybe not already in five days. It's only been five days that that camera's been out there. But tell me what you guys think down below. Hopefully, I can get some better pictures of him. I did move that camera about 40 yards uh, down to the south and it's just a more open area. I can get a bigger shot of him. I had the camera in a very tight spot and I wasn't really aware how much um, deer cameras, trail cams, how much they zoom in and it limits you a lot. So hopefully I can get some better pics of that guy. 
20 yards. So, here we are guys. This is my brand new, what I've always wanted. It is a uh, diamond archery by Bowtech. It is a uh, Deploy SB. It is a uh, carbon bow. It weighs like, I think two and a half or 3.2 pounds. Absolutely nothing. Go ahead and take carrier off of there. All right, now, one new thing for me is a wrist release. First time ever using one. I'm actually pretty used to it now. I've shot it enough at Cabela's, which wasn't a lot and only at about 10 yards. So we're gonna add to that at about 18 to 20 yards. Try to get used to it. Probably step forward at about 12 and come back to 20 today. So uh, awesome bow. Big shout out to all the uh, friendly gentlemen at uh, Cabela's in Kansas City. Thank you guys for, for hooking me up. I just wanted to go somewhere, um, get treated like a normal person, uh, not expect anybody to know me. You know what I mean? It kinda gets old after a little while. I just wanna be a normal guy out there. But there was one of you, uh, I don't remember your name. I'm very sorry about that. But he, he, there was one that knew me and we talked for a long while. Awesome guy, awesome guy. But let's get to it. I need to... Uh, Definitely, definitely need to get my practice in. Um, I've shot bow for a long while, uh, just never shot a deer with one. I've uh, probably been shooting a bow since I was, I'm gonna guess probably 21. So not an ungodly long time, but 22, 23 years old uh, was the first time I ever picked up one. It's time to get it in. It is. So, I'm gonna step up just a hair. <sighs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, really liking this bow a lot. My old bow, some of you have seen it. It is an old bear, I think. And way too small for me. Um, yes, this was not cheap. Again, you can go look it up. It is, uh, again, the Diamond Archery by Bowtech Deploy SB. She is a beauty. Yeah. I will say uh, the wrist release, I'm loving it. I've always used a... Um, a grip release, uh, what's called a true ball. You just hold it and you use your thumb to release it. This makes it so much better. I don't know why I didn't do this years and years ago, but I love this bow. One more, then we'll go see what we got down there. Uh, this is my first time actually shooting it at home. Um, I only shot it at Cabela's enough to get uh, comfortable with it and to for them to sit it up for me. So, sorry I'm bending over. I'm trying to talk to y'all. All right, let's go look. The amount of steadiness in that bow compared to my other one, I'll show you my old one here in a minute. Amazing, so light, even. Woo! Uh, I think this was my first one. Look at that, I stacked them in there. Shooting just a hair high, which I think I was trying to at a greater distance than 10 yards, what I actually got the uh, top sight dialed into, but wow. Me and the new bow are definitely gonna get along. Now, I know y'all are wondering what type of arrows I'm running. All bow hunter guys, they wanna know. They wanna know everything. So these are Gold Tip 340s. Uh, Gold Tip Hunter 340s, which they were not cheap as, as well, but I didn't care. I'm like, I am going to spend whatever amount of money it takes to get the bow that I want that I need, that I will use, possibly for the rest of my life. The next 10, 20 years, 
until something better comes out. This thing is so light, it's amazing. I'm gonna pop off four more here. And then we'll go look at the old boat. She is a beauty. I am loving this bad boy. So I do have a whisker biscuit. I don't have a drop away uh, rest. Really liking it. This thing is just flawless. Even with some good wind, that's what we need. Need some good wind to practice in. Good environments. I was wondering if I ought to shoot with my glasses on, but it doesn't seem to bother me much. It looks like I'm a hair right, but stacking them in there. Yeah, I'm going right. Still getting them in there tight. All right, let's go see. Definitely was a hair right. I don't know why I'm shooting right now, but not bad. Not bad, I'll take it. Same thing as before. Stacking three, one to the left. Hmm. Just going to have to take my time and get used to it, you know? We got the wifey out here. Thanks for filming. Yeah. How's it going? Good. I love it. You like it? Oh, it's so nice compared to the old one that I've had for 20 freaking years. Looks like you got a pretty good shot. Yeah, it's it's so comfortable. Like it's hard not to have a good shot. Ooh. One more. Yeah, these last two. It's kind of like when you get your arms all tuned up like kind of worn out yeah you shoot better oh a 70 pounder you get a little huh? worn out yeah <laughs> i got it at 70 pound pull huh. it takes 70 pounds to break it over all the way i couldn't even do that your shoulders get worked okay this was the last round now we got them all straight up and down. These two are side by side, little underneath, a little high. About the same deal going on, so come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. You got to hit the thumbs up. And uh, what do you guys like to like to shoot? Hoyt, Matthews, Bowtech, what is it? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. I know we got some diehards out here. I'd really like to know what the most used bow is out of all you guys here on the channel, let me know down below. It'd be pretty interesting to see how many Hoyt, Matthews, Bowtech, which one wins. All right, as I promised, old bow. It is a uh, Hoyt, actually. <sighs> what is it? A Hoyt Charger. Um, got a lot of cobwebs on it, but man, it's got a drop away rest on it. It's all set up, ready to go. But man, this thing here so light boy i love that thing um i always shot pretty decent um with my hoyt but man this bad boy here just being new and uh set up for me this one was originally set up for me i had to put freaking cam extensions on it not on this one it's all ready to go don't want to say i had to kind of rig this one but i had to kind of had to rig it to fit me because my draw length was originally too long for it right so i think we're going to do good with this one hopefully this year um i can make it happen on a buck um i might might shoot a doe maybe but i really want to get a buck down uh i'll probably shoot a doe with uh with my bow just to get some meat in the freezer but um Man, do I love it. It feels so crispy, so smooth, so nice. I am glad that I just made the move, pulled the trigger. <laughs> pulled the trigger and got a new one, honestly. And the wrist release, game changer. Absolute game changer right there. This is what I was using. Again, this is what I've been used to forever. It's called a 
true ball. You all know, know what I'm talking about, but I think the wrist release is a lot better. Huh. But I'm going to get off here, upload this video for you all. If you guys have any recommendations, any ideas, any tips for what we did here today, okay? Maybe where, uh, what feed I should use. Do you guys have a go-to deer feed, okay? Other than just corn, scent blocks, a brand that maybe I haven't heard of. A cheap brand that I can buy a lot, right? Because I've already went through about 300 pounds in five days. And by the looks of it on the cards, the rats, the raccoons, the possums, the bunny rabbits, the cardinals and blue jays, and the deer are all eating it up. I think everything but the deer are eating most of it. So if you have any recommendations on uh, good stuff out there that I should try, I know uh, a lot of our bucks around here are deer. Uh, anything fruity, pears, apples, anything like that, corn obviously, but let me know down in the comments. I really wanna try some new stuff. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna keep feeding. I'm gonna get ready for big duck opener. Big duck opener in Kansas is less than a week away. And uh, boy, howdy, we don't have a lot of water. I do have some options for, for some pond action and a lot of public action. So we're probably gonna be hitting the walk-in public action more than not just to tell you. Uh, the old boat, pra, I guess we could use the boat up north a little bit on some big lakes. That might be fun. I'll get her ready. I'll get her tuned up. I'll get her ready to go. As you can tell, I got a ton of organization to do in here. Uh, cleaning up. We are less than a month away from guide season, y'all. <clears throat> and um, I got a ton of stuff to do there. I'm probably not going to start sitting uh, in a tree stand um, until it gets cold. Until November gets here. That's a, what I've always... Uh, known as a rule of thumb is especially here in Kansas do not start sitting until the cold hits in November like November 12th 10th 15th so we're gonna be doing a lot of camera work a lot of feed work trying to get photos I have not put up a tree stand yet just because I want to pinpoint where some good bucks are before I just go throwing up deer stands for absolutely no reason I still have a good amount of time I have basically I would say up until about October 20th, and then I'm gonna have to get my tree stands up. I'm looking at putting up two to three total. Two to three total, and then hunting the rut all of November. Yes, I will be guiding, but in the evenings, I'll be able to go sit. It'll be just fine. I'll have plenty of help here, uh, especially if I have one or two big ones that I'm after. It's time that your boy starts chasing uh, the Kansas whitetail here. Our Kansas whitetail hunting is amazing and there's no reason why I shouldn't be. It feels like I've waited forever to get to this point and you guys have been asking me for ages, Bob, when are you gonna start deer hunting? You gotta have some good property. Well, this year I finally do. This year I finally do and I'm putting my best foot forward to do it right, not just go out there and, and be a shenanigan. Actually do it correctly. So. I've held off from uh, deer hunting on the channel and a lot of you have asked why because of that reason right there. I don't want to just step into something acting like I know it all. I want to progressively learn and but first and foremost you got to have the property to do it. If you don't have good property it's honestly not even worth trying you know. And now with all of the uh, new waterfowl leases some have decent you know tree rows and uh Decent opportunity to, to get after the deer. A lot of these properties have probably never been deer hunted or it's or they haven't been deer hunted in a long time. So who knows what's there? We will find out. I think we have one shooter so far, but I have to get a better picture of that big guy that was on camera. So wish us luck. Good luck to all of you guys. Hopefully the beginning of hunting season has been treating y'all well. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time. I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl